Looks good, right? That's what it really looks like. Alright guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be how to properly remove swirl marks and why you need to remove swirl marks on every single boat you work on. Alright, so you may be asking yourself, you know, what are swirl marks, okay? Swirl marks can come from a few things. It could come from just wear and tear on your boat. A lot of the times it comes from rotary buffers or improper use of uh, buffing machines. And then it can also come from brush heads and, um, you know, just not washing your boat properly. Basically what it does is it leaves micro scratches. And a lot of the times they're side to side. If it's from a buffer, it'll be called technically holograms. And it'll look holographic. You'll see the buffer pattern go side to side, up and down, or whatever way most <laughs> boat detailers out there get creative with it. But guys, these marks, they're crucial because it'll leave millions of little micro scratches in your boat and it'll always affect your finish on your boat. So if you notice you'll wax a boat, you know, if you don't remove these scratches all the way, a lot of the times you'll wax a boat and then within weeks, your wax is gone. And the problem is, is because your wax is actually filling in those scratches. It's not actually sealing off the surface. It's actually sucking into those scratches. So what we gotta do is you always wanna make sure that you effectively remove these swirl marks before you go ahead and wax your boat. Now, if the customer's not paying for it, you know, it's one of those things too. But guys, on most boats that you wanna do, you wanna at least remove the holograms from old buffers and you'll see it when you move in the light, you have to put a light directly on it. But when you move into the light, you'll see it'll look almost holographic like a holographic card that is holograms that's usually from an old buffer and a lot of the times man these boats will look super good on an angle but when you put a light to it that's when you're actually gonna see the swirl marks so you have to put a light into it and you have to actually look at the beam of light in the gel coat once you have the holograms identified, now how the heck do you go ahead and remove it? Now you have two options. You can use a flex or you can even use the little Griots garage machine. I'm gonna show you guys actually how to do both in this video coming up. Most of these boats that actually come from the factories, unfortunately, you'll buy a three, $400,000 boat and they'll come from the factory all swirled up. And quite frankly, it's just because they're tr just trying to get them out the door, okay? They hit them with rotaries really quick. They go ahead and they polish them up. They just hit them. They look shiny from an angle. And quite frankly, most people will never see these things unless you put a light on it. And my job is to show the customer, you know, and it's your job as the detailer to show the customer, hey, look, you have these billions of little scratches all in your boat. Let's go ahead and take them out. And guys, it's gonna make the shine go from here to here. It'll take your detailing skills to the next level. All right, guys, like always, if you get any value out of this, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Also, if you have any particular questions, go ahead and comment down below your question and I will personally get back to you sometimes within minutes. If you go back on all my videos, you can look. I answer every single question if you have one down below. Also, follow me on Instagram for daily tips and tricks. It's drakes.detailing on Instagram. I'll see you on Instagram and let's go ahead and get to work. All right guys, so here are those holograms. You can see they're everywhere all over this panel. There is some deeper sanding marks too from the factory that I will address in the video a little bit later, but right now you can really see these swirls. So let's polish them, all right? We're gonna do four dots on our gray force rotation pad from the company Lake Country. You can find it down below, all right? You do four dots, we spread it on the surface, and then we're gonna do our side to side, up, down, side to side, up, down, side to side motion. All right, I know that's a lot, but it's simple, okay? Your first two passes, so you're gonna go side to side all the way down your panel, and then you're gonna go up and down all the way down your panel. That is going to be at on the three speed setting, all right? And then once you've done that, without stopping the machine, like I'm doing right now, just watch how I'm doing it, we're gonna bump it up here in a second to about five and a half speed setting, and then we're gonna do the same thing, side to side, and then we go up and down, and then you're done. You typically go over the same section about four different times. So right here, you can see I just sped it up, and this is where we're gonna go up and down, and then we're gonna finish side to side, and that's it. It's really that simple. Um, big thing is gonna be arm pressure. I usually like to push pretty hard. You can see me kind of pushing hard on there. Um, because we really do want to cut out those sanding marks and this gray pad is a heavy cut foam pad Which is really good on white surfaces on boats and you usually don't even have to finish after that So watch exactly how I do it guys watch this over and over again And if you follow this step every single time 
you're gonna get the same results. Just wipe it off and then let's move on. All right guys, now that we have it polished, whenever you do a boat for the first time, either if it's correcting it, sanding it, um, do, just doing a simple polish, always do a test spot, which is what I'm doing. This is, I've never polished this boat before, okay? I basically wanna see exactly what I need to do. So this is technically a test spot, all right? The boat's good, uh, it does have some swirl marks in it, so that's why I went ahead and did a polish. But what we want to do every time is go ahead and hit it with some alcohol. This is going to be your best friend because these polishes, even though they say they don't have fillers in them and all this stuff, it's got oils, it's got polish in it. So it's going to actually make it look shinier than it really is. So what you want to do is you want to remove those oils. A lot of the times, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but you'll polish or wax a boat and it'll look freaking awesome. The second it gets wet, all that oxidation and crap will come right back because that is because of the oils and everything else that's on it. You wanna go ahead and hit it with some alcohol and spray it on and just go ahead and wipe it. All right, now let's take a look at it. All right, so this right here is before. You can see the holograms in there and our little line and then this is after. Look how good that looks. Before and then after. Now, if we really look close, I zoomed in a bunch. Before, Ooh. all right, before, see those holograms swirling? There's our line, and then this is after. Before, on the left, after. Before, after. All right, so as you can see, that was pretty simple. Okay, guys, you do this on every boat you do, it's going to bring your details to the next level. Now, this boat actually has some deeper scratches from the factory that I can see. Um, I don't know if you could really see it on camera, you might be able to but with the lights, I can see some deeper, deeper scratches from the factory. Um, now, the customer doesn't really care about that. This is a purely fishing boat. It's gonna get scratched, so he's not too worried about that, but he did want to do the best we could do um, within a certain budget. So that's what we went ahead and did. We got it polished up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it on just a simple Griot's Garage and not the Flex 3401 VRG. So the Flex is about 480 bucks. The Griot's Garage is about 160. If that's within your budget, go ahead, do the exact same steps, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the Griot's Garage machine. All right guys, so essentially it is the exact same steps as before. Put your four dots on your gray force cut lake country pad now when i spread it uh, right now i'm going about probably the three or four setting and then on this one when i start to do my cutting and polishing i just bump it all the way up like i just did to around six and i go now i will say this is a brand new pad so it is spinning really fast which is essentially what you want but once the pad does get worn down you'll notice that the DA will really catch and then that's when you have to regulate your hand pressure um, just you want to make sure that it obviously spins that's the only downfall with these DA's is that one they catch a lot of pressure like when the pad softens up or if you put too much pressure on it the pad will actually stop spinning so you want to make sure that your pad is consistently spinning at the perfect rate so nothing has changed do side to side up down side to side and then up down and then maybe throw one more side to side in there just to kind of finish it off so watch how i do it guys go back and watch the flex if you have to watch this video if you have to that way you can see exactly how it's done All right, as you can tell, just use the Griot's Garage right here, or Griot's, whatever the heck you pronounce it, I got corrected. Uh, Griot's Garage, um, same pad. Um, you know, guys, I like to, I don't, I'm not the detailer to have 1,500 different products, all these different pads. I like to find a system that works for all of my lines so I don't have to spend a bunch of money on all these different products. There's nothing wrong with the guys out there that love the products and all the different products, but 
I try to, as a business, stick to the same system so I can replicate that system for all the guys that I train, okay? That way one person doesn't need to know all these different products. It's one line, one system, does every job the same way. Force rotation pads, which work just as good on DAs as they do on flexes or any, um, any force rotation, it'll work just as good as on DA. It went ahead and did the exact same job. Let's check it out. All right, so this is before. This is just a little top section now. See those holograms swirling? And then this is after with the Griot's Garage DA. See, there's a little something right here. That's those sanding marks that I was telling you about, like up in this area. But for the most part, guys, just for a simple polish, looks pretty dang good. All right, guys, so now that we're going to have it corrected, I'm going to go ahead and finish out the whole thing. I'm going to put the camera back a little further back so you can kind of see me do everything. And then once everything's completely polished, we're going to do this whole panel. We're going to go ahead and seal it up with our Jeskar. <laughs> All right, so this is after. All those holograms are gone. For a fishing boat, this thing looks amazing. <laughs> 